Hey yo, what's up? I finally got my camera back and we back at it again with another video. Before you like this, I mean, before you watch this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we ready to get lit because you already know I got my camera back. So, yeah, what was up? Y'all miss me? Um, but yeah, we ready to get into it. As y'all can see by the side, you already know what this video going to be about. And we going to get into it. And... Make sure you go shop with me at thericksway.com. I got a lot of merch, new merch, or whatever. Not new merch, but new items that I'm selling. Got so much in store for y'all. It don't make no sense. But I like y'all, and you know, turn that. Perfect. It is. Y'all know, I don't never know what the dick is. And these videos, these next couple videos, may be all over the place. Because I still got footage on my camera that y'all didn't even see. Loose footage. My camera had broke. I got the day my camera broke. I got some footage. So, the day when I'm recording this video is April the 17th. So, I'm coming with them bangers. While I'm doing my business, y'all greasy, all of that. Um, so, in this video... This video gonna be about my breast reduction. So first, let me tell y'all, this should be a sit-down video, but I'ma just get into it. Just tell y'all what it is. Like I, I started, alright, I started noticing that my titties was getting big in, I think fifth or sixth grade. Like fifth or sixth grade, they started getting big. So, that's when my back started hurting. I started gaining weight because I was a pencil, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I'm going to put a picture right here. I was so skinny. That's, you know, over the years, you gain weight. My hair everywhere. Don't do me. But, it's not even messed up, though, because I hate that and done. So, it's still, like, intake a little bit. I just got to put it down. It's a messy bun. But yeah, um, I'm gonna put it down for you. Ooh. But yeah, so, you know, over the years, you gain weight for real. So, I started gaining weight, and then I noticed I was having back problems. Like, my back started hurting. But, like, my mother don't have big boobs. So, I get. It's like white, but oh well. So I get it from my father side of the family. They got big cities. Hey, bye. Got big cities. So I said, yo. And I start feeling um insecure. Like, dang, I'm getting all this weight. I'm getting, you know, big. I'm getting older. Yeah, older. I'm gaining all this weight. So I started. Um, I just ain't worried not about you know. I was still thinking I would this shit. Perky with the big titties and all that. Um. And yeah, yo. I was still you know dressing and everything like I ain't. I ain't fall out with none of that. Y'all, I'm breaking out real big. I think it's from my hair. I don't know what it's from. But yeah, I still was dressing everything. Long story short, when I got to high school, I said, yo, something got to give. Something got to give. Not that great, but like, so great. Like, after I was done high school, I was like, when I was old enough, and I was like, man, I think I'm going to get this, get a breast reduction. Like, I was old enough in high school, but I wasn't even really worried about it. Like, I really started stepping out on faith about everything. Everything. Yo, it's been a minute since on this camera. I just want to tell you, I forgot that I need to look right here. Me and you. Look. But yeah, because I'm looking at myself. But, um. Yeah, I just stepped out on faith, and I was like, man, I'm going to get a um, breast reduction. These need to get little, like, so, I, um, I, um, researched it, man, my mother researched it 
Bro, my mama did all the work for real. She searched it. Y'all know my mama always do all the work. Kudos to her. You know, I'm thankful for her. But anyway, let me not get off topic because I do that a lot. So we searched somewhere where I get a breast reduction. Luckily, it was they was doing it right up the street at the hospital. Um, but I live it right directly up the street, like five minutes away. I lied to you now, so this when it all happened, February the seventh, uh, twenty. I think it was eighteen, twenty eighteen. Yeah, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, it was 2018, I think. I don't know, but now I was 21. I'm 24 now. Y'all do the math. Look, dumb as fuck. But yeah, I was just turned to 21. Y'all know my birthday, February the 2nd, and then I was getting my surgery on February the 7th. 2nd and 7th. 2nd and 7th. Okay? So... You know, we finally found it. They approved me. You know, my insurance paid for everything. That was good. I didn't have to pay out of pocket. And I was 21. I didn't have to pay out of pocket. So, I was like, okay, this is the best thing I could have ever got for the 21st. You know, birthday present or whatever. Like, so, like, my doctor, he was cool. Like, he cool for real. Like, real cool. But, um... Yeah, this like was the best thing I could have ever did. I'm more confident in myself, even though I've been confident. But, you know, like certain stuff gets you down. But I'm more confident, even though I still got stomach. But I let that shit hang, you hear me? And I already come out, you know, stay, stay tuned for the, you know, plus size girls. For them girls that's, you know, uh, mommy belly. Um, you know, that's insecure about your stomach. Let that shit hang, sis. Let it hang. It's your stomach. If it, the nigga don't like you, then he don't like you. The fuck. You go find you somebody that's going to love, you know, that mommy stomach, them curves, them scratch marks, them, that flabby, that fupa, all like that, you know. That little, yeah, I don't know. Y'all know your moms with your head. I'm going to get one one day. But, yeah, find you somebody that like it. Don't do nothing for nobody. And that was the one thing about me. Like, I didn't do it because um, of somebody else. I did it for me, like, for my health, for my image. Like, I did it for me. Like, you know how everybody be out here trying to get BBL for a nigga just to look like an Instagram I don't know. I did that shit for me, you feel me, like, it's in my language, or whatever, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's when it all started, and I stepped out on fever, I wasn't scared, I got up, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna show you all the clips, so, it's gonna be coming in the next, when I'm done, you know, making the intro, but, um, yeah, like, um, that was what he said. Look, lost my train of thought. But yeah, I stopped out on faith. Like, it was in the morning, 5 o'clock. Um, I got up, and it was time. I couldn't turn back. Like, and I, I wasn't scared. Like, I'm healthy. Like, I'm really healthy. Even though I don't eat healthy, I'm good. Like, I don't have no diabetes, thank the Lord. I hope I don't got it right now. Um, high blood pressure, thank the Lord. I'm trying to lose some this week. Um, I do got vertigo. I found that out like two years ago, but I'm trying to get that under control. Like, it's not crazy, but you know, I had like two attacks. But I think that should be all in my mind, though. But, yeah, I'm going to be good, you know, as long as I stay hydrated and all that. But, yeah, so I'm going to show y'all the videos, and I hope y'all like it. Um, It's, like, three videos that I got. Then I got some pictures at that you could tell, like, when my boobs was big, so when they was, when they started to get smaller. So, 
So I ain't going to do too much talking because this video is already 10 minutes. I'm going to do an intro of this because I ain't going to do no intro. I just was so excited that I got a new camera. So I'll be back. But watch these videos. Look tired. Look Yeah, just waiting for the admissions to open. Me and my mother. Mom. Mom, right here. <laughs> we ain't here. No one in there. No. We early, y'all. We been here since like four or something. Love. I said we early, y'all. Oh, she said we early, girl. And then they doing nothing. Huh? And we're... <laughs> that's, that's how I was the people is. to take my tongue ring out. I face ashy. Can't put on no lotion. No nothing. But we good. I'm going to keep this live rolling till it's time for me. I don't know. I'm going to keep the whole time till they roll me in the bed or whatever. <coughs> Thank you. Cousin. Cousins. The earlier the better. At the hospital, about to get surgery. Come on, bro. Um, it's five thirty. Oh, <laughs> I thought you picked it up. Look, y'all, about to leave my bed. My overnight bed. <laughs> so you know, I ain't staying overnight. I'm going home the same day. Thank you, cousin. Oh, what's on you, the father? Six. Six. 
I mean, we late. I know you lying. Huh? Thank you, cousin. Right now, we just wait. Some deodorant was so big. <laughs> I smell it. I um, feel like an African. Mm. So, you know, with some Africans. Dang, I should have said all this. It's my phone. Courtney said that earlier, the better. Right. The expects. No, I'm paying. Just being paying. ready for her procedure this morning. Okay, Your surgery okay. is scheduled for 7.30 and I don't anticipate any problems unless anesthesia has any difficulty getting in this morning. Dr. Martin is a very prompt surgeon so I imagine we're going to get started which is a good thing. Number one you don't have to sit here and think about it for too long and then there's no chance for getting delayed okay. throughout the day for backup so that's a good thing. You'll see Dr. Martin this morning. He'll probably come in Mark um, some areas what he's planning on doing. I'll go over um, the procedure. So if you have any questions, either one of you now is the time to ask. You'll also meet your anesthesiologist and the nurse that's going to be in the OR with you. We're going to ask you the same questions over and over. What is your name? When did you eat last? Allergies. We do it to everybody, so no worries. Um, you're more than welcome to stay in here with her until it's time to go to surgery. When it's time, everybody goes down the hall together. There's a spot for hugs, kisses, see you later. And you're gonna go into the operating room and they're gonna show you another waiting area. It's different okay. than where I just got you from. And uh, it's gonna take a little while. Oh. We're looking at probably a good three, three and a half hours. Yes. Um, so in the interim, we do have a nice um, coffee bar around the corner. We have a cafeteria downstairs. Um, so if you want to go ahead and, and walk around, I would just make sure you're back in the waiting area. Let's say by 10. Let's start getting okay. there by 10. Dr. Martin will come out, let you know how everything went. Um, it might be 10, 30, or 11, but just okay. everything goes great and he's there at 10. Okay. So I don't want you to miss him. Um, when you're finished in the operating room, you'll go into recovery. And you'll be there for probably about an hour and a half or so. I just want to make sure that you're waking up all right, vitals are good. If you're having pain, they'll make sure that you're comfortable. Um, you may or may not get to see her in the recovery room. It just depends on how well she's doing, okay. how busy. If you are, it's only for just a quick peek. We can't let you sit back there. But once you're finished recovering and those nurses... Sit up, man. I'm trying to put it, do the best I can, baby girl. Put it in 
Easy. So they knew what to do. <laughs> they know what it means to hold them. Hey, because you didn't take a down. Yes, I thought. I got wings. Where are your um, That bag. In this bag? you put the shoe on the floor, because I can't do my leg right here. Thank you, cuz. I need some more water at this point. Excellent. Excellent. Just a little drowsy. <clears throat> feel like my face got fat. Face problems. Put it in there right now. My face swollen. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Fifteen? Two. I've been here all day. I like your hat. Thank you. Did you make that? No, I got it from the thrift store. Somebody made it though, but I got it from the thrift store. Because I crochet and that's so you pretty. <laughs> make one like this. Make me another one. You be, how long. much? How much you pay? How much oh, you charge? Oh, I do it all the time. It's a, it's a long one too. Yeah, it's like dangling in the back. Yeah. 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 Um, can you lift this out again, please? If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, that's from the anesthesia that will gradually wear off. Okay. Okay? Yes. If you have a mild sore throat, just gargle mm -hmm. with some um, salt water and take some lozenges. Uh, if you're sick in your stomach, you can start with something um, like light, light ginger ale crackers. And then as you get better and you can hold something in your stomach, then you can eat regular food. Call the doctor if you have severe nausea and vomiting, any fever about 101, any chest pain or shortness of breath, any pain not really by your pain medicine, any unusual or excessive bleeding, but we went over the Jackson Pratt, yes. any foul smelling drainage from your incision, uh, and you already urinated, so should, that should be okay. You to see Dr. Martin tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we discuss the dressing. If it's soaking through that bra, just a pin. Put the pad on. 
Um, don't lift anything more than five to ten pounds for six weeks or until cleared by your surgeon. Mm -hmm. No strenuous activity, no driving, or using heavy machinery while on pain medicine. Resume your pre hospitalization diet. Resume all your regular home medications this evening. And you have a prescription for pain and some antibiotic, correct? Yes. Yeah. And uh, notify the doctor if you have any fever above 101, any chills, any persistent nausea, vomiting, severe abdominal pain, shortness of breath, redness around the incision, or drains from an incision other than the other, what we talked about your dressing. So you have two prescriptions also. Did they give you a uh, sous softener? Yes, they gave me. Because the pain. My mother medicine. said they did give it to me. Yeah, I'm okay. on my. I mean, I'm getting ready to be discharged in a few minutes. Yeah. Pain medicine yeah, makes you constipated. Yeah, but when you come back from getting um, Zion, so while you're you taking pain medicine, me up, and I want to make sure that she is also. okay. Okay. Yeah, they get no, they get ready to discharge her now. She's yeah, the she lady is going over all her paperwork right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. you, go like this. you have been given a special bra to wear your own breast heel. Do not remove this okay. bra. Mm -hmm. Keep your elbows at your side. We don't want you doing this or this or that. Right. Just keep it close to your side. No showers right. until you've seen the post op right. visit but I, I got tomorrow, a... which will be tomorrow. Yeah, right. You may do sponge bath or sit in the shower tub, but no showering. Okay. Monitor your Jackson Pratt, the, the drains that you have on both drains, right. and record the amount, the output amount. Right. I can still wear the old. Yeah, I got. A, I was listening I to the nurse because she was in here talking. Uh, to yeah, Alexis. yeah, for the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can stink for the day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was so happy when they told me I could wipe them wipes with them wipes earlier. Keep your drain amount from each side separately. Bring this recording with you to your post op visit tomorrow, like we talked about. Okay. And then the fever. You call if you have. The fever, chills, pus from your wound, or pus melon discharge from the wound. Expect some drainage on the dressing. However, call if it's saturated with blood. I mean, saturated. Gotcha. Little I'm bit of spots almost, here and there. Okay. Almost left me. I write the. Um, I'm gonna write it down for you. On the regular piece of paper. I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well. You you're gonna get a copy. You're gonna get this copy. So. Oh, well. Okay, expect some drainage on the dressing. However, call if saturated with blood. Call the office. Do not remove the bra. Please call Dr. Martin with any questions. Avoid all smoking and nicotine products. Oh, good. And that's it. Okay. And this is something if you want to get hold of your records, you go to this new master patient portal and it tells you what to, to do. If you want to uh, get all of your um, <coughs> records, any questions? You need some more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need some more water. You want soda? Please. No. Why are you trying to give me soda? I don't know. People like soda. Mm -hmm. but I love water. I like soda, but they tell me at the ballet at the time I got to drink more. Water. Yeah, drink more water. I love water. Yeah. I'd rather drink water than anything. What's today? Seven. Uh, two. Yes. Yeah. If you give me a choice between water and soda, I'll drink water. Sign right here, love. Okay, so this is your copy, and everything we did we discussed is over here from Dr. No, that's my copy. Okay. So everything we discussed with Dr. Martin's um, instructions is here. Okay. Here's the office number if you have any questions. Yeah, got that And number everything over. in here is what we discussed. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Now, did you drive today? Oh, I, I'm getting ready to get a um, cave. We only live on um, the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we live up the street. 
So I can take you to the emergency room and you call a cab? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You don't have a No. Let me get you water. Yeah, okay. Your sister. Well, you let that everything went mm -hmm. well. Yeah, like she pressing up. Mm. Your sister. He told John he was home. For the last time. I need to check this. My phone won't drop. How about this one? Is this the taller one? This one. Hold it. Yeah. Can you lift it up? Got it? Yeah. Just, I need to do that salt water because my mother is. Um, Okay. Sore, like. you, it's gonna be sore. <clears throat> Can't enjoy my food. Cause it's a different taste right now. You okay? Huh? You okay? Yes. Well, I just wanted to make sure. I see you. Um, you look. Oh, you just live. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you on camera. Uh, Oh, that's the thing. I'm geeking, right? Like. Oh. I'm doing good. My mouth just sore. I mean, like my throat. From them having a tube in it. But other than that, I'm cool for, for right now. I don't take no medicine yet. Because I'm still got. The anesthesia. Hey, you hear me? And then. Hey, what? Hey. Yeah. I got axes, of course. Set up. My mother bought me. Let me show you. My water and stuff. My pizza right there. Yeah, I'm gonna be knocked out in a minute. But I gotta get up. I ain't gonna get up right now because I already did a lot of walking. But. Mr. Jackson! Oh, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool with me. It's gonna cause birthday. I'm gonna eat the rest of my pizza. Mother and daughter on here. Hey, ma. But I'm back in the doctors tomorrow so they can take the um drainage out. I know y'all see the line right here. They got blood in here. It's too um. And I gotta keep count of um how much blood comes. Oh, this is the 
Oh, you, you eating both? You hungry? No, I ain't paid. I'm just. You hungry? You want I some? I ain't paid at all. Huh? You want some other water? The, the oh, water right. too cold for my throat. This too? Cause there's one time. Yeah, that's what it should be. But it's cold in here, so. Not a hell. It sounds like over the night. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this cool. We just is a piece of stop back in there. We got a map for that. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I ain't eat since. <laughs> Which my call? I ain't eat since seven o'clock yesterday. So you already know I'm smashing. They not about to stop my eating. Yeah. Okay. Eating habits. Alright, uh, y'all, tell her you say hi when she come back in here. She went downstairs real quick. Okay. You already know anybody about to stop my eating head. I'm still talking my mouth. Big child. What did this cause? You already know. <laughs> Smash. I got my glasses on, y'all, because I can't see. You know, I'm forever greedy. I'm about to went work for real. But I'm about to tell John I'm home so he can come over here. Yeah, he spent his night last night. Thank you, cousin. I'm good. I ain't in no pain. I'm just... I need to stop saying that because I've probably been paying in a, in a couple of hours. Alright, he spent the night yesterday. And he took us to the hospital. But he left or whatever because I guess he had to take a share and stuff. When I told him he was spending that, he was like, what? He was like, you kidnapped me? I'm like, yeah. No one left. He was still sleeping when we woke up. I had to be there at 5.30 this morning. My surgery ain't start at 7.30. Okay. Okay. Dang, everybody leaving. I'd like to... Can I please fix Debbie? She's in her room. What is this, cuz? She's locked herself in. I'm home, y'all. Yeah. I ain't back. I ain't in no hospital. What have I done? I didn't follow these names. What do you expect? They copied her from the kids. Yo, my throat. <laughs> like, that shit hurt. Like, you know how... When you coming on with a cold, and um, when you coming on with a cold and it's like scratchy, like that's how that shit feel. I need to go with, and I need to brush my teeth. Like they need let me brush my teeth. Oh yeah, I brush my teeth this morning. I'm tripping. There's a lot we need to talk about, honey. Hey cousin. I'll come for a visit. If y'all ain't never had a steak and pepperoni pizza, it'd be snack. Try that. It's a local, it's a local pizza shop. Yeah. I'm about to be having some visitors today, I already know. Nigga, why you doing that? I ain't even that. You ain't never tried before. Then that room took to order this, like. Now, I tell you, you know me, I only drink water, but I've been doing these little waters right here back. Look, I got a whole case of them bad boys. Hold up, I'm about to show you. Right there, and some egg juice. 
You know why I'm coming. No, you nasty. Oh, yeah, because they don't need like cheese. I had a uh, breast reduction show you the recon the day. Hey, Epiphany. Yeah, I'll probably like her way to smash, you know what I'm saying? I've had a bit of a boost. We'll be practicing the new words and phrases. Once you've got That's apple juice. Lucky I didn't drink no soda. They asked me did I want soda all day. I'm like, no. Look. My mouth already aching. Okay. Back to work. Yeah. You know, outside turning them big ass titties, but I'm, I know you glad you uh, a couple of y'all passed it. And this is Frankie. Actually, Frankie is just a bit hey, of a and that's encouraged a lot of the other women to bring all of the cups. Yeah, but I'm the star people. No one comes over the place. Yeah. These ain't like my titties, though. Sitting like this. These, just the bra sitting like this. Don't dick my titties all the way up by my chin. Oh, well, I guess I just have to play with myself. Oh, you got them, too? <laughs> but a couple of y'all passed them, though. But a lot of women went a bit stir crazy, so I organized dance classes, which ended up being hugely popular. Morale increases, incident rate goes down. I read the report. We need to empower the women. I feel cool. Uh, my, uh, my throat just hurt, like, from that, uh, breathing to... You already know I'm eating. They not eating, but stop not eating. I'm eating whole pizzas and all that. I not like food. Oh, you know they not about to stop my eating. Somebody said, "Am I okay? Yeah, I'm good. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me." I tried to take them back, but I ain't in it. I do I'm not in it. This is my last time being on live for the day. I might get on there later when I wake up or something. Now, you know. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Who wanted it? 